In this video, we're going to look at uh, yield and defect metrics. There are two tabs in the downloadable file, and on the first tab, we're looking at the yield metrics. Let's suppose we have a three-step process, and we'll look at the performance at each process step, and then uh, ultimately we'll look at the um, performance of the entire process. Anywhere you see a yellow cell, remember it's asking for an input, and so we'll use an example of 100 uh, units that were submitted into process step one. And we'll assume that 15 of those were scrapped, and we needed to work, rework five of those. And we can see immediately that the final yield for the process step one is 85%, right? Uh, because we've got 100 uh, units in and 85 units out. The five, of course, are included in the 85 because uh, we reworked them, we didn't scrap them, but we lost 15 to scrap. So we've got 85 coming out of the process and 100 going in, so it's a final yield of 85%. Uh, the throughput yield is 80%. Now I have to take out not only the uh, 15 for scrap, but also rework, so that's part of my throughput uh, yield. My roll throughput yield, uh, because I am talking uh, still about step one, is, is still 80%, and then we've got the normalized yield. Now I've got 100 units that went into step one. I've got 15 units I lost to scrap, and so automatically 85 are introduced now into step two. And let's suppose that 10 in step two, I, I scrap 10 and I had to work, uh, rework eight uh, additional units. My final yield is 88%, my throughput yield now is 79%, and when I multiply 80% and 79%, I have a roll throughput yield of 63%. I had 85 units, I lost 10 to scrap, that gives me 75 units going into step three, and then uh, carrying on the example, I've got 20 that I scrapped in uh, process step three and maybe one that I reworked, and so for this step, I've got a final yield of 73%, a throughput yield of 72, and a roll throughput of 45. And then overall, for the uh, three-step process, I have a final yield of 55%, and the final yield is the number of units out uh, versus the number of units in. And then the roll throughput yield is, I simply multiply these three numbers, the uh, throughput yield, sorry, the throughput yield, 80, 79, and 72. When I multiply those together, I get 45%. And that gives me uh, uh, approximately 0 0.79 defects per unit. So that's how we calculate uh, yield metrics. Now going over to the second tab in the file, we've got defects. And the example I'll use here is let's suppose we have 500 units that we're uh, examining. And we've got seven opportunities on each unit. That gives us a total of 3,500 uh, total opportunities. And then uh, let's suppose we've got 20 uh, that are defects. And if that's so, then we've got 4% uh, DPU, defects per unit, about 4%. 4 we've got uh, DPO, or defects per opportunity. So this is per unit, talking about the 500. And this is per opportunity, talking about 3,500. So that's the difference in the number here. And then we have a DPMO of 5,714, uh, also known as PPM, or parts per million. But uh, commonly, it's DPO, defects per million opportunity. And then we've got a short-term z-score of 4 and a long-term long z-score of uh, approximately 2.5. And that's, uh, that's it. That's all there is to calculating defect and uh, yield metrics. Uh, this uh, template is downloadable from the Six Sigma.org website. There are other uh, resources there as well. And thanks for watching this video.